Hey, tech enthusiasts and gaming fanatics. Welcome back to Joystick News, the channel where we dive deep into the heart of gaming news, technology updates, and everything in between. Today, we're unpacking some major news from Sony that's buzzing through the airwaves, the rumored launch of a PlayStation 5 Pro. Yes, you heard that right. Let's break down what this could mean for us gamers, the industry, and what Sony's cooking up behind the scenes. The PlayStation 5 Pro, a new challenger approaches. Sony, the giant behind the PlayStation saga, is seemingly gearing up to breathe new life into its gaming dynasty with a pro version of the PlayStation 5 set to drop this year. Analysts are buzzing, and so is the gaming world, after Sony trimmed its sales on the PS5 sales forecast, signaling a potential game changer on the horizon. Why a PS5 Pro, and why now? Three years post the original PS5's launch, we're staring down the barrel of a gradual decline in unit sales as per Sony's own forecasts. It's a classic move in the console life cycle think back to the PS4 Pro, launched three years after the original PS4, to rejuvenate interest in sales. The strategy? Launch a souped-up version to not only spice up the market, but to be battle-ready for the juggernaut release of Grand Theft Auto Roman 6 in 2025. Yes, GTA Roman 6, the title we've all been salivating over, could be the crown jewel in the PS5 Pro's launch lineup. What's at stake for Sony? But here's the kicker. Sony's gaming business is currently staring at profit margins that are whispering sweet nothings from decade lows. It's a tough spot. On one hand, there's a need to push unit sales. On the other, there's a dire need to balance the books with profits. This delicate dance might mean that even with the PS5 Pro's launch, we might not see a price cut on the current PS5 models, a move that's been tradition in past console cycles. My spin on the PS5 Pro saga. Now, let's get personal. The idea of a PS5 Pro excites me as much as the next gamer, but it's a complex cocktail of anticipation and skepticism. Here's why. The good. Ready for GTA Roman 6. The PS5 Pro could offer the kind of immersive, high-octane experience that a title like GTA Roman 6 deserves. We're talking about potential advancements in hardware that could push our gaming experiences into the stratosphere. Innovation in the console space. Sony's move to upgrade the PS5 reflects a commitment to innovation, ensuring that the PlayStation remains at the cutting edge of gaming technology. The concerns. The price point. If Sony's profit margins are under pressure, it's likely the PS5 Pro will carry a premium price tag. For many, this could be a significant barrier, especially in a world still reeling from economic uncertainties. Exclusionary gaming. High costs could potentially gatekeep quality gaming experiences from a broader audience, creating a divide between the haves and the have-nots in the gaming community. The bottom line. Sony's rumored PlayStation 5 Pro represents a bold move in a time of transition for the gaming industry. It's a signal that the console wars are far from over, with innovation and high-stakes releases like GTA Roman 6 on the line. But it also opens up questions about accessibility, affordability, and the future direction of console gaming. As we edge closer to the PS5 Pro's potential release, I'll be here to break down the latest news, analyze the implications, and share my unfiltered opinions on what this means for us, the gamers. What are your thoughts on the PS5 Pro? Are you excited, concerned, or a bit of both? Drop your comments below, smash that like button if you enjoyed this deep dive, and don't forget to subscribe to Joystick News for more tech and gaming updates. Until next time, keep gaming, keep dreaming, and let's see what the future holds for the PlayStation Saga.